Today, we're talking about Ugandan alcoholism. Not only are Ugandans into witchcraft and superstitions, they also drink a lot of alcohol. According to the WHO, one in five Ugandans consume alcohol on a regular basis. According to the Ministry of Health of Uganda, it's one in four. Nearly 10% of the population have an alcohol use disorder. The interesting part here is what kind of alcohol Ugandans drink. Only 11% of the population drinks beer, 3% prefer hard liquor, and 1% drink wine. The rest consume other. But what exactly is other? This is a traditional booze, which they produce from what they have. Sugarcane, cassava, and bananas are all easily accessible everywhere here. The name of this booze is Waragi. In fact, Waragi is the name of a locally produced gin, but the name went viral and now every hard liquor is called Waragi here. This place started in the 1980s. Here it was only forest and people used to, to, used to have only one drum and they could do it behind their houses. But as the demand went on, it forced people to come up with ideas like this. Here, locally they call them factories. Here only there are more than uh, 20 factories mm -hmm. here only. But they are even when you were coming, you saw on your right, there are mm -hmm. more factories up there. Mm. Yeah. Okay. In the Soviet Union, moonshine was produced in garages and kitchens. But here in Uganda, it's produced on a much larger scale. These illegal factories remind me of cocaine production run by Pablo Escobar. These tents in the middle of the woods, fires, people wearing dirty clothes, going around with buckets, packing something. Today, Waragi is the main alcoholic drink in Uganda. More than 80% of the population that drinks alcohol prefers Waragi. Although Waragi production requires some efforts, it's quite easy to store and to ship. It can be sold at a higher price than beer. You also get drunk much faster. To make waragi, you have to put mash in a barrel. Close the barrel and leave it to boil. There's a copper tube connecting the barrel with another container. The tube is dipped into cold water. Distilled liquid goes into a bottle. The alcohol level can reach 60%. Waragi is usually drunk on its own in bars. There are sugarcane plantations in the central region of Uganda. They use treacle for waragi production there. If you shake like this, the more the bubbles, the more mm -hmm. the quality, the good quality. Yeah, locally people drink it like this, dry, but uh, if you want to enjoy it more, you mix it with tonic. This is more cheaper. 500 meals of this local one can cost uh, between 5,000 and 10,000 Uganda shillings. Mm -hmm. And then the one from the fabric or from the factory, it can go for 35 to 45 Uganda shillings. The quality is not the same. There's more percentage with this one, more alcoholic percentage. To those who have tested it before, they assume it's a, above 60% alcohol. This, the government recommends when you're above 18, mm -hmm. but like in such areas where children are exposed to alcohol, they can even drink when they are 10 or 12, so they can start a drink. How strong is it? It is a straw. So, uh. Mama. Yeah. You breathe out. Yeah. All right, Ilya. It was nice knowing you. Go on. And hey, swallow it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it tastes like the strongest, oh, like pure alcohol with pepper. <laughs>